Hey guys, today's video we're going to be checking out the Diamond Select Muppets Select. This set consists of Floyd and Janice. Let's figure out how tall these two are. First things first, let's check out Floyd. Floyd stands at about four and a half inches in height. While moving the tape measure over to Janice. Janice stands at about four and a half inches as well. Of the recent Muppet sets, I have to admit that this one probably has the most in the way of accessories. And where do we start? Well, when we start with the things that just don't want to stand up, Ah, much like the Ralph, we do get another pair of lyrics stands, which, to the credit of them, they at least are painted in in a nice gold. Unfortunately, heavily warped. This one worse than this one right here. And here are these small feet that we've discussed in the past. Because of the nature of the small feet and the way that they're slightly top-heavy, nine times out of ten, I can't get them to stand. One stands, the other one falls over. Or if I get one to at least stand, eventually it falls over too. I really think that they could have taken like a, a circular clear disc and actually just even mounted these to the bottom of the disc. If it's see-through, you wouldn't have been bothered as much by it. It would have looked like it could have blended in. And at the very least, these would at least have stood up. Then you get a series of different lyrics, lyric pages. This one here is Tenderly. And if I can actually flip this one around, this one is called Nightlife. You can put them onto the stands, and the stands hold them to their credit. But again, as soon as you put them down, they just want to topple over on you. You also get inside a, uh, a Playtune Muppet Show, which you can flip around. And it's got the crew, roadies, and special thanks. And then it gives you the full crew of Dr. Teeth. And the electric, uh, the electric mayhem, I think it was. Dr. Teeth, Janice, Floyd, Zoot, uh, Lips, and Animal. And I think at the time that this review is being done, we've so, so far gotten a Janice, of course, a Floyd that we're looking at today. And we got ourselves an animal. I don't think we got Dr. Teeth yet. But, get that. And then, uh, speaking of cardboard as well. You get yourself Dr. Teeth, there we go, yeah, and the Electric Mayhem On Tour, which once again is cardboard. There's nothing on the other side. It's not, it's not really laminated, so longevity of something like this. Who's to say how long this will actually last? Comes also with a little standee that you can put on there. About the only place where you'd be able to display. I suppose you could pin it up somewhere, but you wouldn't want to damage this. This easel. It does look like wood, although it doesn't really have much in the way of grain work to it. It's been painted in brown, and it does not fold up or anything like that. It's just, it's pre-molded. But we can put the, try not to drop it. There we go. We'll put this over here, and we'll slide this over to the side. Just right next to that, they get a pair of speakers, which appear to be identical to one another. Helps probably if I turn it this way. There we go. And there's the back of it. Uh, primarily just cast in black plastic. There are a little bit of silver accents there around the top, around the corners, and uh, you've also got on the switches there as well. A red light. It's not actually a red light, but a painted red light are also in the corners of the speakers. Again, these are identical to one another. And I really love the fact that with all these Muppet characters, you're getting like little build accessories that as you continue to grow your collection, so too will you also grow your collection of accessories. And then eventually, you know, you can build a much bigger uh, setup sort of thing. You get yourself a stage light, which does not have anything collapsible on it. It's just cast in black plastic. Silver on the interior here. This doesn't rotate or anything like that. And you got your bulb inside also painted in silver. You get yourself a series of mics. The last set we looked at came with one mic. Here we get two mics, one for Janice, one for Floyd. And like the other ones too, they have removable mics. If you get the mics far enough down, 
they seem to hold pretty good. You kind of have to get them over top of the larger area of the microphone and it doesn't fall out. If you have it further down, so this further down, they sit loose and they fall out from time to time. But at the very least, unlike the Lyric stands, at least the microphones stand on their own. Get a guitar, you get two different guitars actually. One for Floyd, one for Janice. Janice is a little bit smaller. Painted very nicely. I love the airbrushing that's been added here. You got some outer areas of like a brownish red, interior area of almost like an orange color. And there's the back of it. Janice's are, well, Janice has a little bit more of a red color scheme to hers with an interior of an almost an orangey yellow airbrushed in there. Strings are painted in, in a white, as, as the same can be said for Lloyd's. Floyd's, I should say. And then they also have these little uh, shoulder straps. Now the shoulder strap fits well over Floyd's. You can simply uh, get it around his, there we go, around his ponytail, and he fits it, his guitar quite well, actually. Janice's is, is a little bit more trickier because she doesn't really have a long, a long enough, in my opinion, a long enough strap. So, I mean, you can get it onto, well, you can get it over her one arm and then you can kind of tuck it underneath her hair. Um, but she doesn't really have, like, it's not long enough nearly to fit over her head. Fitting in over her head, I feel like, uh, I feel every time I'm doing this, I'm going to be potentially damaging and or breaking the strap. I mean, again, I can eventually get it over there, but I feel like it's not nearly long enough. It should have been just a, just a hair bit just a hair bit longer, I think. And again, getting it back off of her can be really difficult because it doesn't give much clearance at all. Uh, she also gets, if I get her to stand properly, also gets herself a tambourine, which has some paint done on the top, whereas the bottom looks like it's just cast in this plastic, almost like a, almost like a yellowish kind of custard color. Ooh, custard. And then you've got the actual parts, the bells, or I guess the little parts that make the noise. I don't know what there's an actual term for it, but the, the actual bell portions on the uh, tambourine are painted in silver here. It looks like there's some deco here that they just didn't paint in. I don't know if that's actually supposed to be the same color as the rest of the tambourine, or if it's supposed to be painted in in silver, but she gets that. Also gets a harmonica, very thick harmonica. And it's got a little bit of silver and red paint to it. Again, another trickier piece for her to hold because one hand is completely all oh, somewhat flat. It's a little slightly of a relaxed palm. And then the other one is a gripping hand, but it's there doesn't really give you a whole lot of uh, wiggle room to get her to properly hold this. I mean, the middle part is too thick, it seems. The ends are probably the more suitable, suitable areas for her to be holding the, the uh, harmonica but again like it's just it's difficult if anything to get into her hand and I hoped if anything I could kind of support it on the other hand but because the elbows don't bend far enough up I can get it into her hand but I can't get it close enough to her mouth just because the elbows don't bend nearly enough the ending touches to Janice she also comes with her hat but it doesn't have I can't even even describe it as frictioned it's not even frictioned. They've sculpted underneath the grooves that I guess line up to the hair, but there's nothing really keeping it on Janice's head. You kind of have to, if anything, stand her on a surface, put the hat on her, and then just hope that nor the hat or Janice herself topple over. At least unlike Miss Piggy, Janice does have at least peg holes on the undersides of her feet. So if, for example, you just, oh, I don't know, happen to have a display stand readily available here. You can put the figure onto the stand, like so. It's a, just a standard peg, so you don't have to worry about, you know, trying to go through your drawers or wherever you keep extra stands and trying to find a stand that properly holds her. At least, at the very least, it's a universal stand. But the hat, oh boy, the hat just does not stay in place. Um, I almost even would have just said, why didn't they just sculpt the head with the hat already attached? There goes the harmonica. 
Why don't we have a look at Janice first, then we'll have a look at Floyd. Just take her off the stand. No, the stand did not come with her. What can be said for Janice, other than the fact that when I was younger, I always thought that she was in Muppet Babies. I know. As Scooter and I think Sister Skeeter, I always thought she was Skeeter. Was it Skeeter? Scooter and Skeeter? But yet, sure enough, I don't know what happened to Skeeter. Did she just disappear? It was not Janice, nor was it ever Janice. But I always thought growing up when I was younger, I thought, oh, that's the girl from The Muppet Show. And no, that was not the case. Uh, face sculpt is really nicely done, as well as paint on Janice's, not only her body, but also her outfit. She looks like she's got a pair of almost like a jean skirt, a pink top, and she's also got, uh, looks like kind of platform shoes sort of thing. Again, she doesn't stand the greatest, so if you do have some extra stands available kicking around that aren't being used for anything else, may want to entertain the idea of getting her to stand using, say, for example, a stand, like an actual support stand. Because whatever balancing you can get on her, the moment you start moving her arms up and you put other things in her hand, it does cause the figure to topple over. Posability on Janice, her head rotates left and right. A little bit of a more stiff situation happening here. Trying to get the head to rotate. Arms hinge outward. Very, very small, skinny limbs. She has a bend at the elbow, which also allows the forearms to rotate. Hands rotate too. Hinge back and forth. She has an upper torso ball joint. Lower legs somewhat can move. I mean, they're very, very, very restricted by her skirt. Um, has a top swivel right at the top of the leg there. Bend at the knee. You can also rotate the lower leg. And you can also rotate the feet and hinge those back and forth. I entertain and I entertain the idea of this. I love additional articulation on a figure, but when a figure is this small, what little posability, you know, what posability you get actually in the legs, what you really can do with it, it's not much. So, I mean, even if I could bend the leg, it's not like she's going to stand on her own. So I almost don't even know why they... Of course, I would prefer a figure to have posability rather than a figure that was just a staction. You know, you can't do anything with the figure other than just bending her arms. But it's difficult. It's such a trade-off because while you do want articulation, you really can't do too much with a figure this skinny and this small anyways. Unless you use a display stand. And sadly, neither figure came with display stands. Moving along, and we'll take his guitar off. Let's have a look at Floyd. Floyd always reminded me, and I'm, I'm sure there's no coincidence, he always reminded me of Willie Nelson. I really liked the character in the show, especially when he laughed and he, he, these little, little cylinder eyes opened and closed. I think it's a fairly good representation of Floyd. I feel like he kind of sinks in a little bit. I don't know if that's, if he's like, actually like that all the time in the show, but he's got this kind of long Sergeant Pepper sort of jacket happening here. Uh, gold painted in there as well. It feels like it forfeits a little bit of additional art uh, paint on the sides. It looks like it's painted in red, but it doesn't look like they've really gone in and touched it up enough. The face is really nicely done, though. And you've got some additional blonde that's added to his otherwise orangey, red sort of colored hair. Uh, unlike Janice's, though, his hat is not removable, which I think is the route that they should have almost gone with with her. If anything, put just the hat on her as a sculpted piece. You know, I appreciate the fact that you can remove stuff, but if the hat can't be uh, staying on anyways, why well, don't you just simply just you know sculpt the head with the hat? Um, paint on his boots are quite nice. Now, funny enough, he actually has no peg holes on the undersides of his feet, which is somewhat ironic because a figure so small as Janice comes with peg holes, and yet Floyd, even though he does stand, I find that sometimes I have to adjust his feet. I have to adjust his feet accordingly to get him to properly stand. I have to just kind of bend the feet forward. I wonder if it's because he's slightly got that curve that causes a little bit of problem when he gets him to properly uh, to properly stand. I almost have, feel like I have to lean him forward a little bit so he doesn't topple over. Posability on Floyd. His head rotates not quite all the way around because you're always going to have the back ponytail hitting themselves, hitting itself against the shoulders. Speaking of shoulders, shoulders come out, forward and back, bend at the elbow, rotation at the forearm, rotation at the hand, nothing in the waist because of the, the nature of the long jacket. Legs split, slightly forward and back, bend at the knee, 
rotation, rotation on the lower leg and also has a hinge and ankle pivot as well. Not a bad looking set, definitely makes up for it in the way of its accessories because you're not getting really to start off with very large figures. You're getting kind of medium to small scale figures. So it's nice that they compensated by adding all this additional stuff with them. This is a really nice set and I'm glad that Diamond Select compensated for the fact that we're getting somewhat smaller characters in this release that they compensated by giving us some band equipment and above and beyond they gave us a lot of band equipment although some work a little bit better than others. Those lyric stands need to really be fixed. Uh, maybe putting clear stands on the bottom of them so they actually do not topple over could probably help a lot. Um, I like that they give you a bunch of different guitars and like I said a whole bunch of different uh, band equipment that come included with this set. Janice of the two as you could probably imagine by the nature of just how small and skinny this character is does have a real tough time standing so ultimately I think if I'm going to be displaying any of these I'm probably going to put a display stand underneath Janice so that she's not going to fall over at all. I kind of wish that she could have held her harmonica a little bit better and I think for a figure this small with limbs as small as they are, maybe they could have also sculpted both hands with the necessary means to hold all the equipment. Instead, one hand kind of gets a more relaxed sort of gesture, while the other hand is solely, kind of like Miss Piggy really, one hand is more a gripping hand and does really all the work. Uh, it's not one of my favorite sets, this release here. I think of the three that we've just recently looked at, my favorite is still the Ralph and... Uh, Mana, mana. Do, 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 do. But I do like this set, and I know the bigger picture and the reasoning why I'm collecting these as well is because as we get more releases from Diamond Select, I know I can always add these to future releases. So when we do eventually, I think we don't have Dr. Teeth yet, but when we eventually get him, I can put them out on display with him. I can kind of fill out the electric mayhem. And the animal that we already had a look at, animal can sit in the back. So I know I'm kind of building to a bigger picture. It's just the journey along the way that sometimes figures like this, for example, you just feel at times you're, you're kind of picking up a set to fill in. They're not core characters. They're not Kermit. They're not a Ralph. They're not, uh, a, you know, a Fozzie or anything like that. In the cases like this, I know I'm picking up these two particular figures because eventually I want to be building the bigger band. Uh, these are currently available now at comic book stores, so if you're interested in picking this up for yourself, today we were having a look at the Diamond Select Muppets. This was Floyd and Janice. Not bad. And also, as a little side note too, I really wish that they had just sculpted a hat on top of her head, because just having it resting on her head doesn't work. Doesn't work at all. If you guys haven't had a chance to hit that little subscribe button down below, make sure you do so. Of course, more videos will be coming your way. If you guys also want to go back and have a look at some of the Muppets reviews that have already done on this channel, banked it and stored away, you can go to my Diamond Select Muppets playlist and you can check out those older videos at your viewing pleasure. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you guys next time.